Hello, there is a question from year 2008 on DBMS. So consider the following year diagram. The minimum number of tables needed to represent M and P R1 and R2 is A2, B3, C4, and D5. Now look at the year diagram given. Here you can see three entities are there. M, P, and N. M, M and P are strong entity, right? And N is a weak entity. And M is having three attributes. And uh, out of them, M1 is the key. P is having two attributes. P1 is a key. And N is having two attributes where N1 is a weak key. Or, okay? So, the, as this is a weak entity. And the relations are there that is between M and P. There is a uh, many to one relation, and uh, here it is M to R1 relation. There, here it is a total participation, and R1 to P is a partial participation. The other hand, if you look at here, uh, N and R2, there is a total participation, and P and R2, here is a partial participation. Now as M and P are strong entity, it is not recommended to keep these two entities data or merge these two table. It, it is never or it is not encouraged anywhere. So we must consider them as a different table in the database. Now, if you look at the relations, N is related to P, right? And M is also related to P and P is having per primary key P1. So if we want to maintain this relation, simply we can add this P1 as a foreign key to entity M and to entity or table N. Then these relations are going to be maintained. Right. So we will need three tables, one for M, another for P, another for N. So, correct answer is B, that is 3. Another question is given on the same diagram. Consider the data given above question. Which of the following is correct attribute set for one of the table for the correct answer to the above question? Option A is M1, M2, M3 and P1. So you can see here these three attributes are there, okay, and P1 is there. Option B is M1, P1, N1, N2. Option C is M1, P1, N1. Option D is M1 and P1. Now, according to our previous discussion, the tables we are three tables we are going to create, right? Now, the first table for M will have Definitely these three attributes and one more that is the primary key of P, right? So it is going to be M1, M2, M3 and P1. So this is the correct one, right? So A is the answer. Thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe my channel for getting more videos like this.